this is eDesign Lesson 3. By now, you should have a basic sketch of your layout with photo buys and captions. You should have already jumped in one picture, whether it's a picture you're going to end up using or not. This is Taylor's School Spirit page, and I see that everything has been done, and this is a temporary picture that we'll change out later on. Today, we're just going to specifically talk about typing. Let's begin with your headline. Now, this is not the same font we're going to end up using, but I do want to show you how to spell check and how to type. First, zoom in. You can do that over here, um, or you can go control plus plus plus, which is I like the shortcuts. Using the text tool on your toolbar on the left, I want you to highlight temporary headline. Then type in your topic. Again, this won't be the right font, but we're just learning how to type today. And on the subheading, I want you to type in by your name. When you type in your name, Oh, there we go. Do by and then colon, a space, your first name and your last name, and do the capitalization correctly. First letter of your first name capitalized, last no, letter of your last name capitalized. And for right now, use your given or your legal name. Um, I want you to do that so you can see about spell checking. If I zoom in, there's nothing underneath her name. There's no blue line. What I want you to do is I want you to purposely spell your name incorrectly. So this blue line means a student's name is spelled incorrectly in uh, according to our master name list that has been uploaded to Varsity Yearbooks. As you're typing captions, as you're typing other people's names this year, if you see the blue line, you need to fix it. First thing to do is to right click, then go to name check. From here, I want you to type in just part of their first name or their last name, then hit enter and everyone with that sort of name is going to pop up. You can type in their name exactly or just part of it, especially if you don't know maybe how to spell their name but you have an idea, that's a great way to start. Here I have found her legal name and what grade she's in. Later on our captions are gonna include the people's grades, so this is one way to find what grade somebody is in. Once you find the correct spelling of their name, you can double click or click replace. I try to just do shortcuts for everything, so I'm gonna double click, and now it's correct. Now, when we get to the point of like Chris versus Christopher Smith and people who do go by nicknames, we're going to visit individually about those people. For right now, I'm just talking about your typical average student who goes by their legal name. From here, let's learn how to change fonts. We're going to highlight just your name and then choose Nouveau Sans Bold. Now there are thousands and thousands of fonts, but I've only got a few plugged in for right now as we are experimenting with our cover ideas. So choose AHJ, which means American Herf Jones, which is the company that comes up with these fonts, Nouveau Sans Bold, and change the font of your name to that. Up here, you can also see about sizes. Right now, we're at 15 point. I want you to click down on the font size until we get to 10. There's other things about typing that we're going to learn later on once we pick our fonts, but that is the most basic typing. And if you want to, you can use your arrow key over here to move it so that it's centered better. So that is super basic typing, font choices, and font styles. Once you have changed it to your uh, title for your page and by your name and in that font, you are finished. From here, just file save, and that's how it's gonna be graded on Schoology.